And uh, really, if you, I highly recommend it if you get a chance to uh, fly in space with Megan. Thanks, Mike. Um, I want to start off by thanking my family. You guys are the center of my universe. My husband, Bob, uh, thank you for all your support and leading the way and showing me how it's done. My sister, Shannon, is also here. Thank you for, for being here and for always being here uh, throughout my life, my big sister. Um, I also want to thank my parents uh, and my uh, other sister, Erin, my brother, Sean, everybody for, for their love and support over the many years of this career. Um, this event is also about thanking all of you, not just for coming out to welcome us home, but mainly for all of the support and hard work that you've done over the past years. You guys have been in this with us the whole way, and there's no way any of this happens without you. So thank you, all of you, uh, for all the tremendous work that you've done. And specifically today, of course, I want to thank the uh, shuttle arm team. Um, the, this mission, as you know, was pretty much all about uh, the EVAs, the spacewalks, and uh, the shuttle I, uh, arm, I think, had an important supporting role in that process, and there's some really important people whose incredible work in making the procedures super efficient, I think really contributed to mission success and EVA success. So I want to start out, first of all, by thanking Stephanie Fryer, who is probably not here, but uh, uh, she just did tremendous work in uh, preparing our procedures and just worked up to the last second, uh, making sure we had really great and efficient procedures, all while preparing for her own launch. And so uh, she just is an incredible woman, and I'd like to thank her today. Um, Stephanie, together with Marco, spent hundreds of hours, it seems like, with us at the NBL, uh, looking over our shoulder and making sure the procedures were just right. And every time we changed the EVA, they, they changed the robotics procedures as well, so many thanks to them. And uh, the folks out at the MBL deserve a, a huge amount of credit as well. The guys that operate the arm out there, a really tremendous team that shared their experience and knowledge with me along the way. I'd like to thank them and of course also all the divers who manned that diver warning button that really helped uh, up the game for me when we were working in and around and real close to the telescope all the time. Made sure that I didn't hit anything or crush any of the uh, spacewalkers, so I'd really like to thank them as well. <laughs> I think these guys would like to thank them also. <laughs> Um also want to thank all of the folks that um, work so hard to keep all of the training facilities operating um, that help us learn how to operate the shuttle robotic arm, the folks that keep the DSTs running in the dome, uh, the uh, VR lab, of course, and the folks that make Doug. Uh, those are really valuable training facilities for us, and we really appreciate all that work, and it really helps us uh, do our jobs better. Also want to thank the uh, ECO team and all of the imagery inspection folks that worked real hard and, and kept our um, inspection operations so efficient. We kept the arm moving, and uh, got through all of our extended inspection uh, criteria really smoothly. In addition, we had uh, one uh, one extra procedure that I'm sure folks worked through the night to get together so we could uh, do that extra inspection we had to do um, without having to take off the MFR, so I know the EVA folks are really grateful for that as well. Um, that was probably Lee Weaver and James Hintz from CB, and of course Ian Mills, our lead PDRS. Many thanks to you guys. Um, and this wouldn't be complete without a huge thank you to Linda, and I see you out there, Linda. I wrote on my card, I could not have done this without her two exclamation points so a big cheer for Linda who um, was just with me every step of the way and whose wonderful training program and, and calm advice and uh, critique of everything that we did and uh, really helped me be ready to do all the tasks that I had to do and she would make it so hard to grapple the telescope in simulation that when we had to do it on the real day I thought well this is easy so many thanks to Linda for, for all of her hard work and, and to all of you for coming out to support us today. I know that you hear from a lot of crews that they got to fly with the best crew ever, but those people are all wrong because I got to fly with the best crew ever, and I'm really fortunate to be part of this team and to be sitting up here with these guys, and I want to introduce to you uh, Dr. John Grunsfeld, who was a, a mentor for all of us on this flight and uh, shared not only his spaceflight experience, but his passion for the telescope with all of us, so here's John for you.